I'm here with a one man film studio. I am the production, the producer, everything. Anyway, here we have Tiger Snake, standard cage. You see, he's got the water bowl, can't be spilt, made very heavy duty. Bang, 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 doesn't even move. We got the hide, which is a cut up bucket. We've just cut it up and always a U shaped entry. And we have a tiger snake. This one's devenomized, so if it chomps me, it doesn't really matter. We normally just free handle our snakes. You can see me pick it up in my hand, wave it round, it's all quite happy. Anyway, we're going to offer this guy a uh, rodent. So, what we'll do is we'll just casually get my little tongy tong tongs, tongs, right, snake tongs. We use snake tongs to handle food for snakes, not for snakes. As you can see, there's some legs. This one I won't tax for legs. We do normally tax the legs off them, like yay. But I'll just wave it in front of this tiger snake here and say, here you go, snake, food. As you can see, he, he jumped straight onto the uh, uh, rodent and uh, ate it. Now, this snake's been devenomized surgically for many years. And as you can see, it looks no different. And the reason it looks no different is because in the later operations, we didn't stitch them tight. And of course, there is a bit of a space, but it heals so fast, it doesn't matter. We end up with a snake, it is completely indistinguishable from their venomous counterparts. They actually eat as soon as they've been operated on if they want. There's no need to delay feeding at all, contrary to what you read on the web. And contrary to what you need read on the web, these snakes do not require venom to digest their food. This guy was devenomized way back in 2004. This video is being made in 2011, end of 2011 I might add. And the snake of course uh, is actually quite old, it's about 11 year old, a bit like uh, another one that's been on some of our videos with the better bands. And as you can see, absolutely immaculate condition because it never ever gets bumped around with sticks and tongs and things. It's had a, actually this one's had a check it career, it's picked up a few infections and things and uh, got quite sick on a number of occasions and we've had to fix up with antibiotics and stuff. It's come good every time, we've been very lucky there. Um, it's amazing how close this particular snake has come to death, but of course one of the advantages of a devenomized snake is we can look at them closely, we can model them closely. None of this hands-off health care that a lot of people have with their venomous snakes because they're venomous. Um, this is hands-on where we can pick them up, look at them, inspect them closely on a regular basis so that if and when they get sick we can actually treat their illness well before it gets out of control and uh, ends up killing the snake. We can uh, be much more proactive with the health care and as a result devenomized snakes live considerably longer with a lot less mortality than their venomous counterparts because we are able to deal with disease much quicker. We are able to inspect the snakes physically as opposed to just peering in a cage and hoping this thing's okay. It is much closer and that's why our devenomized snakes on average live longer than snakes at other facilities where they are venomous and the handlers basically can't pick them up or get near them for fear of uh, getting a fatal bite. This particular snake does bite, he's a bit aggressive uh, by, I don't know if aggressive is the right term, he's inclined to bite we'll say and having said that um, both myself and I think most of my staff have been bitten by this particular individual and of course we just wipe it off and say sorry because it is devenomized um, it's probably this is probably one of the worst tiger snakes I have in terms of its behavior in terms of biting I personally don't like tiger snakes very much because they do just sometimes bite like for the sake of it anyway what you've got to remember is tiger snakes are the fourth deadliest snake in the world and if you see a reptile show anywhere uh, with a tiger snake it will be dangerous unless it's ours and advantage means your kids will be safe with snake busters.